afternoon, everybody. 50 local moms got the surprise of their lives last week when they got a phone call from the Ryan Neese Foundation and the Shelton Quarles Impact Foundation letting them know that they had been nominated for the award of Best Mom in the Tampa Bay. Well, these lucky moms were brought together this morning at the Lowry Park Zoo for a special breakfast in their honor and to find out which one of them would be crowned the winner. Now, this is year seven for the program highlighting the sacrifices and the courageous efforts of local moms. I had the honor of emceeing the breakfast and had helpers. My, my daughter Sophie and Audrey were there helping me as well. And joining us live in our newsroom, we are very happy to introduce you to the best mom in Tampa Bay, Miss Lisa Kane, and the great guys who help to make this happen every year, Shelton Quarles and Ryan Neese. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Lisa, you were nominated by your daughter, just turned 14. What did you think when they started reading the nomination form that she wrote? Oh, I was shocked. I was like, wow. I looked at her and she goes, that's you, that's you. And I was just in awe. I was just really shocked. She wrote about how you've, you've sacrificed so much to be able to not just take care of her, but also your mother, who is a cancer patient. Tell us uh, why you feel, you. it's so funny when I, when I commended you on it, at the breakfast you said, I, I'm not doing anything special. This is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, I didn't think anything of it to move my mom in and to start taking care of her. I mean, that's, she's my mom. She's the only one I have. So I really don't think anything special about it, to tell you the truth. Um, and, you know, I don't expect anything for it. And I guess that's what Kara sees that, you know, it's, it's commendable. So I appreciate that very much. So you're now sleeping on the couch, I understand, I so that mom can have mom your room. Mom has my bedroom, yes, and how but that's she? okay. As long as she's happy and comfortable, that's all I care about. And how is she doing? She's doing okay, actually. She's, she's comfortable and happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ryan and Shelton, we've got some really great pictures of you with your moms, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of folks are always interested in knowing why you go above and beyond to celebrate moms with the breakfast. Shelton, why do you do it? Well, I think for me is because my mom raised me as a single parent. She had me when she was 15 years old, and uh, and and only child. I guess after she had one, she said, oh, "I'm not having any more." <laughs> I was in the, he's enough trouble, but you know, she always made sure that I received everything that I ever needed or wanted. You know, she always went without and made sure that I had. Uh, had whatever I wanted and needed for uh, for any anything that I was doing, and so uh, I appreciate her efforts and and uh, in raising me. And uh, when we first started this seven years ago, we wanted to figure out a way to give back to the community and and recognize moms in a, in a great way. And I think this actually does it. And Ryan, you said in the breakfast that you get a chance to see what all these wonderful moms are doing for their kids. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, we get the opportunity to meet women from all different walks of life in the Tampa Bay community that. Uh, make sacrifices on a daily basis for their loved ones and for not only loved ones but for other people in the community and it's it's a it's a tremendous honor to be able to read these stories and to be around these women at the same time it's inspiring you know at the you know one of the things that Shelton and I learned that you know being a mom is sometimes a thankless job yeah. but these moms do it with grace they do it with compassion and they love what they're doing they love being a mom and so it's inspiring to see these women uh, do what they do on a daily basis and it makes me go God, I think I can do a little bit more. <laughs> you all received hundreds of nominations that you have to read over. What was it about Lisa's that just stuck with your heart? Well, I think it's exactly what her daughter said. She's a superhero. And when you think about superheroes, they make tremendous sacrifice for the greater good. And they use their power to help mm -hmm. other people. And I think, you know, and she described her mom as a superhero and said, hey, this is the person that I want to grow up to be like. Right. Uh, that resonated with Shelton and I, and I thought that that was truly amazing, and she makes sacrifices not only for her daughter, but for her mother as well. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you both. For more information on all the great things that the Ryan Neese Foundation and the Impact Foundation are doing, you can visit them online anytime, ryanneese.com and sheltoncorals.org. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy Mother's Day.